In anticipation of our upcoming interview with our resident Cloudflare expert, Troy Glancy, I thought it'd be a good idea to go ahead and put together a basic video showing you how to get your website added to Cloudflare's free plan. Now, this is something I do with every website I build or manage. There are lots of benefits of getting your website on Cloudflare, and the free plan is actually pretty generous. But I know a lot of people are nervous about setting up their accounts. Anytime you're having to manage your DNS, it can be a little bit hairy. But in this video, I'm going to show you just how simple it is to set up your free Cloudflare account and show you the process of getting everything moved over into your Cloudflare account. If that sounds like something that'd be helpful for you, then stick around and let's get started. All right, so let's take a look at all the pieces I have to start out. The first thing is a website. Here I have the admin.bar, which is the domain we're going to use, and I just have my generic starter site loaded on it. That domain is actually purchased through Namecheap. So here in my Namecheap account, you can see I have this the admin.bar domain listed in here. Currently, the name servers are just the Namecheap name servers. And as far as DNS records, I have the a record pointing to my server and a C name for the www record. So next what we need to do is go ahead and sign up for an account at Cloudflare. To do that, I'm just going to cloudflare.com and we can click sign up. We'll scroll down here and click add a website under the free plan. And we'll put in our email address. I've set up DNS at the admin and I'll put in a password for now. And once we're done with that, we can hit sign up. Once we do that, we'll see this add a website screen. We can go ahead and click add a website. And here it takes us right to the screen where we can start putting in our domain information. So I'm gonna do the admin.bar and we'll hit continue. Here on this screen, you're gonna to wanna to scroll down and make sure that the free plan is selected. We can see the big blue box around it and we can hit continue. Now what Cloudflare is doing now is actually scanning all your DNS records so it can import them. Now, it's always a good idea to go ahead and go through these by hand and make sure that they actually line up. We can see back here in our Namecheap account under this advanced DNS, we only had two records and we have our email settings turned completely off. So Cloudflare is actually bringing in some historic records that aren't even there anymore. So let's go ahead and get rid of everything that we don't necessarily need. So we can see here that the A record is it starts with a 155 and ends with a two. So that's actually not even showing on here at all right now. So let's go ahead and delete all these records. Now, sometimes what Cloudflare brings in will be absolutely perfect. To be totally fair, I've been going back and forth with this domain as I did some tests here to put together this video. So it's probably just legacy records that haven't fully propagated yet. Now let's go ahead and add the records we need. So here for the A record, I'm gonna go ahead and type in an at symbol and we'll go grab this IP address and we'll paste it in here and hit save. And then we also need to set up a CNAME record for our www version and we'll do the admin.bar and we'll go ahead and hit save. Like I said, hopefully this goes ahead and imports all your records correctly, but this shows it's a good idea to always go through those and make sure that all the records are the correct records. After that's done, we'll hit continue and now what it's gonna do is tell us to point our name servers to Cloudflare. Essentially, all we need to do are grab these two name servers and put those inside of our Namecheap account to set these as the name servers instead of the basic DNS name servers in Cloudflare. So we'll go ahead and click to copy this first one, go back into our Namecheap account, go back into the domain tab, and here under name servers, we're gonna change this from Namecheap basic to custom DNS. Here in the first name server, I'll go ahead and paste in this first one I got. We'll go to the second one and copy it. Back over to Namecheap, paste it in, and hit the check mark. Now that we've set those as the DNS, we can go back here to Cloudflare, scroll down, and we can hit check name servers now. Now, this process does take a little while to propagate depending on your domain registrar or wherever your name servers were before. I've seen this process happen in as little as 15 minutes and I have given up on this for the day and come back the next day to find it done. So your mileage may vary a little bit, but now Cloudflare is keeping an eye out for those record changes. So we can go ahead and hit continue. Now here, it's gonna do a little quick start with Cloudflare. Obviously you can see there are tons of things inside your Cloudflare account. And this is just gonna run you through a couple of the basics. So we'll go ahead and hit get started. 
This will automatically rewrite your URLs to HTTPS, which will help fix any mixed content issues. So we'll go ahead and leave that on. Here under always use HTTPS, this is just going to create a rule to auto forward any HTTP traffic over to HTTPS. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on as well and hit save. As far as performance, this is one of the options that's automatically enabled by default. So I'll just go ahead and leave it. And now we can go ahead and hit finish. While we were setting all this up, I did get an email from Cloudflare wanting me to verify my email address. So we'll go ahead and click that link to verify that account. And now that's done as well. At this point, it's just playing a waiting game for our name server changes to propagate. Now, luckily, once that happens and Cloudflare realizes it, it will send you over an email letting you know that all those changes have been made and your site is now protected by Cloudflare. So long as you imported all those DNS records completely, you don't really have to worry about your site going down this way. Once that change happens, all your records are already there, so your site should just continue working and visitors should really never know any of this happened. So let's go ahead and jump forward in time to getting that notification that everything's ready and we'll pick things up from there. So it did end up taking about 25 minutes, which is pretty quick. And I got this email from Cloudflare saying the admin.bar is now active on a Cloudflare free plan. So now we're seeing the status of this is active, that means that the name server change has propagated and everything is now currently running through Cloudflare. So if we go back here to our website and hit refresh, it should pop up just the same. Like I said, you can't see that any changes have been made. And here inside of our Cloudflare account, we can see any of those warnings of the pending name server change have gone away and everything is ready to go inside this account. In my upcoming interview with Troy Glancy, we're gonna take a deeper dive into all the benefits of using Cloudflare, but by just doing what I did inside this video, you've already improved the performance and security of your website. Not only that, I think Cloudflare makes it really easy to manage your DNS records, and you will notice that things propagate a whole lot quicker once you have them on Cloudflare. Now, if you're someone that's not too bothered by the number of plugins on your website, there's actually a Cloudflare plugin that you can install for free that will do some more tweaks knowing that your website's a WordPress website. So let's go ahead and take that one final step here in this video and get that all set up. All right, so I've gone ahead and just logged into my website here, and we're gonna go to plugins, add new plugin. Here, we'll search for Cloudflare. And we're gonna install this official one by Cloudflare Inc. Go ahead and hit install now and activate it. And once we do that here under settings, you'll see we have a new menu item for Cloudflare. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and we can start setting up our connection. Now we already set up a Cloudflare account so we don't have to create an account. We just need to sign in here. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and use that DNS at the adminbar.com email. And now we need to grab our global API key or API token. This is exactly why I set up a burner account for this because I am gonna to have to show you my API keys here. So back here inside of our Cloudflare account at the top right corner, we'll click on my profile. And over here on the left, we can click on API tokens. We can go ahead and click view to grab this API token. It is gonna ask for our password again, and we can click to copy that. Back here in our website, we'll go ahead and paste that in and click Save API Credentials. This will just make the connection between our website here and that Cloudflare account. Now, as far as configuration, there's not much to do here. This first button here will just apply recommended Cloudflare settings specifically for WordPress. So this is something I would encourage you to go ahead and hit apply, and that's gonna do some changes back inside your Cloudflare account. Now you also have the option to purge your Cloudflare cache directly from your website now. At any time, you can just go back to this Cloudflare page and click purge cache. You can either purge everything or purge individual files. Now having this plugin installed means that it's gonna more regularly purge that cache as you make updates to the website anyways. So I like having this installed on my websites if I'm using Cloudflare. Now, like I said, Troy is gonna come on and show us a lot more of the detailed granular things you can do inside Cloudflare. But if you're just getting started for the first time, I wanna show you just a couple quick little things that I think will make getting up and running with Cloudflare just a little bit simpler. Back here inside my dashboard, I'll just click the icon to take me back to the homepage of my dashboard. You can see we can actually add another site here with just the click of a button. Now that you've got your Cloudflare account set up, all you'll need to do is log in when you wanna add a new site and click the add site button. And it'll take you through that same exact process we did before, which is pretty simple to go through. Inside my account, I have dozens of domains listed in here. So if you do end up using Cloudflare, this is where you'll be able to log in and see all the different domains you manage inside your Cloudflare account. Another great benefit of using Cloudflare is being able to invite people into your account and have multiple people managing different things. 
To show you that, I'm just gonna click Manage Account down here in the bottom left corner, and we can see Invite Members to Join DNS at the adminbar.com's account. We can click Invite, and this gives us some granular controls over the permissions people will have. So here we can see we can include all domains, a specific domain, or a group of domains for a specific user. So this is great if you wanna share access with a client or with a third-party vendor. You can separate all these accounts out so people have the right permissions at all times. Lastly, by adding your domain through Cloudflare, you now have access to use Turnstile, which is kind of Cloudflare's version of a CAPTCHA. I really like this option. And then the next video I'm gonna produce, I'm gonna actually show you how you can set this up on your website as well. So make sure you're subscribed so you can catch that video. Hopefully this video gives you the confidence to go ahead and get your website set up on Cloudflare. Like I said, I run all my websites through this and it's one of my favorite services out there. And honestly, for the price, you really can't beat it. Go ahead and hit subscribe if you wanna make sure to catch the future videos I'm gonna do on this product. And if you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. We'll see you in the next one.